everybody, it's easy. Today we are bringing you another introduction to Clash of Clans video. This one is on spells. Spells is a huge part of the game. Uh, you'll get a, what's called a spell factory. Uh, later on in the game you'll get a, what's called a dark spell factory. Uh, there are two different spell factories that produce two different types of, two different lines of spells. Um, the first line of spells are what we call whole spells, and the second line are dark spells, which are half spells. They're whole and half because of the housing space. The housing space is how many of them you can hold in your spell factory or in your army camp. Um, or wherever you hold them. I don't even know where you hold them. So anyway, uh, this first uh, clip right here shows the poison spell. That's actually the first dark spell you're going to get. The, the poison spell is really good to slow troops down. Um, it's not you can't use it on buildings, but you can use it on the enemy clan castle troops And that will slow them down and injure them the whole time. They're in the poison spell Which makes it a lot easier for you to go and kill them uh, What we're gonna do is there's a bunch of different spells that we used in this video so we'll just explain the spells as they come up and uh, we'll Give some brief explanations just to get everyone used to seeing some of these spells You're not gonna get a lot of them until later on in the game, but it's still good to know What's out there? What's available to you? Uh, I know a lot of people are watching this because they, you just downloaded Clash and you're just kind of getting a feel for the game And this will give you a little peek ahead of what you're gonna have um, Now in this attack we're using hog riders hog riders are a troop that's completely dependent on spells You have to use heal spells with the hog riders and this is a town hall 8 attack and in town hall 8 you can have three full spells because uh, you have seven housing space for spells so you can have three full spells which are two housing space each and then one dark spell which is one housing space but you can actually arrange that a bunch of different ways you can actually have like five poison spells if you want to um, you can you can arrange it anyway but but in this case we brought three uh, heal spells and we will drop those heal spells in front of the hog riders and the hog riders will go from defense to defense inside that heal spell and that will keep them alive um, and there are there are several troops that like like I was saying earlier several troops that really need spells just to stay alive to stay in the raid So um, it's not like it's the spells are just an added bonus to the game They're they're a necessity to use So you want to get good at using them right away. You want to upgrade them as fast as you can um, Spells are something you use in every raid. So, you know, you might use your P.E.K.K.A uh, Every every few raids, that's actually a troop for those of you wondering. <laughs> um, but you use your spells every raid, so you want to you want to upgrade them right away. Um, now I I didn't catch it in time. In this in this clip right here, they used what's called the zap quake. They used an earthquake to weaken the air defenses. Then they used two lightning to to take them out. Um, but on the right hand side, he actually waited for the clan castle troops to get right over the uh, right over the air defense. And then he dropped the lightning on top of the clan castle troops and the air defense. So you can use uh, these spells for several different things at one time once you get good at it. So in that in that this case here, uh, Creeper was able to not only eliminate the air defense with the lightning spell, but he was also able to eliminate one of the balloons and injure the other balloon and injure the dragon. So he he took care of all kinds of things at one time. Now this raid right here was actually done on one of my one of the clanmates, Steve. And he couldn't believe what they did right at the end. They didn't do anything. They didn't get the base, but they dropped four earthquake spells on top of Town Hall, which took out Town Hall and ended up giving him a star and got and giving him a bunch of loot for it too. So uh, earthquakes are, are dark spells that you get them from the dark uh, spell factory. They are they they are one of those one housing spell um, spells, one housing space spells. I'll get it right here. I'm gonna get it together. Um, and if you use four of them on any particular set of walls, it will it will knock a hole in the walls So you can have level one earthquake and use them on maxed walls and you would knock a hole in them if you use four of them um, Now in this in this particular video here or this clip We use some jump spells right at the end now the jump spells are a really important spell and the reason why I wanted to show this clip is is because a lot of people will bring a bunch of rage spells That's what's being used right now rage spells Increase the troops damage and increase the, the troops speed and it's a really powerful spell It boosts everything up and makes it look real awesome and they just smash right through everything So people love using the rage spells, but 
a spell like jump that doesn't do any additional damage and, and doesn't um, push the troops any faster, it allows them to go over walls as if the wall's not there. So it's like an opening in the wall. So it's a huge spell to use because you can actually control where the troops go by using the jump spell. Um, what we did here is we waited to the very end. We used a jump spell to get them in towards the core and then we used another jump spell so the troops didn't have to spend any time breaking through the wall and instead of using a rage and having all the troops rage up and crash through the wall kind of fast uh, you can jump right over the wall so they never even take one swing at it so in a way it's just as effective as a rage uh, all these spells are have the have different uses they have different effectiveness for different applications and once you learn how to use them all for the right application you'll see how how powerful all the spells really are Okay, that's the end of the video. We're trying to keep all the videos really short so all the new guys out there can watch all the videos without getting too bored. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Um, I'm actually in the process of making the next one right now. So uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And like the video, please. Do that for easy. Like the video. It was good. Short. And uh, I will see you next time. It's been easy. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. I have a total net worth, and now with the increase, it'll be well over $10 billion. But here, a total net worth of $8 billion. Net worth, not assets, not liability, a net worth. I'm not doing that to brag, because you know what? I don't have to brag. I don't have to, believe it or not. I'm, 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 I'm really, 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 really rich. I'm really rich.